Alrighty, so tonight we're gonna be trying out the brand new Hira Dura Legend. Now this is on on, on Yeho, and uh, then we have what I wanted to do is I wanted to pair it up with the Don Julio. I wanted to compare the two and the differences between them. Now, the thing with Don Julio 1942 in my mind is that everybody thinks it's like the best, and it is, it really is, but it's really for someone who doesn't really appreciate really good oak. Uh, just not a whole lot of depth in 1942. Simple, easy to drink, and that's what I, it's, that's a good thing. Doesn't give you a whole lot of heartburn. Uh, you can drink the whole bottle by yourself, and you're good to go in the morning. Now, we're gonna put it up against this guy. Now, this guy's been aged, I think I read online, it's aged for about 14 months, Gives you that oak, supposedly. Now, this is going to be my first time trying it. And, um, you know, it has a lot of different other, you know, flavors. And, of course, vanilla is very important. Uh, cinnamon. And then there, I read a review where they talk about, like, fruit. So, we're going to see if we can taste some of that fruit in it. Um, so, I'm expecting it to have a little bit more or a lot more flavor than 1942. But, of course, not as smooth as a 1942. That's what I'm thinking. Price point. Um, currently, right now, uh, at Specs Liquor, um, this is about 143 bucks, and this one right here in the Legend is about 115 dollars. So that's the difference there. Now, to keep it fair, I'm gonna clean my palate with some of this guy here, Jose Cuervo Preserva, and um, so I don't know. I can't remember the price point of this. It's been a while since I bought some of that, so hold on one second. We're gonna grab the last and pour this in and just kind of coat my palate first. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. Opens up very similar. They both just pop open cardboard boxes. So as far as like, these the bottles here. As far as presentation goes, that's what you got. You got a story on each one. Obviously, it looks like this guy's copying this guy, the original. And uh, bottles. Oh, this one doesn't come out as easy. That's all right. And then this one just slides right out. Of course, you can't really outdo this design here. Now, this one already opened. This guy. We're gonna go ahead and open it and get it going on this one. Now let's compare the colors. I don't know. You know, it smells like it's gonna be smooth. Just like the 1942. Look at that color difference. You can tell there's gonna be a lot more oakiness in that guy. So now it just comes down to the smoothness. If we can get the smoothness out of this with a lot more flavor, this guy's a winner. But we're gonna see color-wise again, that's why it's so easy to drink. Just look at the color. Not a whole lot going on there, but still a really, really, really good tequila. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and and start with the extra Añejo from Don Julio. Just kind of I'm just gonna mix it around like a whiskey. Give it a second. And uh hand me that water right there, cameraman. Clean it. And then we're gonna go ahead and start with the Hura Dura. I mean, it's smooth. It's very smooth. It has a lot of cinnamon, quite a bit more cinnamon um, than a 1942, but it is very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. So impressed by that. Now, as far as the fruits, I 
I just read that online. I think somebody said cherry. I don't taste any of that. Just a lot of oak, a lot of cinnamon, but not overpowering. When I say a lot of cinnamon, it's just not overpowering. It's just a lot compared to a 1942. It's a really nice, very smooth flavor. All right, so let's go ahead and try to start from scratch. That's the hard part when you watch a lot of these different videos, you know, just clean it completely. I actually have to start all over like tomorrow, come back, do the same thing and try to compare them, but you can't side by side. It's the only best way, but let's see. Okay, 1942. It's just personal preference at this point, really. If you want a little, just like I expect, if you want a little bit more full flavor, you're gonna go with the Huradura. It's definitely warmer. And it starts with the color. Not a ton of spice. Um, but unique. I mean, it's not outstanding like a Patron. If you've ever tried the Patron, um, any of the Patrons from the, you know, seven year, the 10 year, the Bordeaux, um, those all have very, very unique deep flavors. What they said online about this guy is they take the oak barrels and they shave them down on the inside. And that way the tequila and the agave get embedded deeper into the oak to bring more of those oak flavors out. Now, of course, 14 months is, you're not gonna get a ton out of 14 months compared to like a, a five, seven, or a 10 year. Um, so, easy going. For the price point, 115 bucks. $145. Bucks. More heat, more oak. I'm gonna say, it's a toss up, honestly. I can't tell you which one in my mind is a better choice because they, although they are very similar in price point, um, flavor wise, I'm just a fan of 1942, so I can't go wrong with 1942. I'm gonna have to go with my 1942 on this one. I think overall, you take this to a, a party, you know, you're sitting around with your friends around a, a campfire, uh, you just can't go wrong with a 1942. Not that this would be laughed at, but I think that if you were to compare them side by side with your friends and you were drinking this one, and then you switch to this one, they would be like, whoa, what happened? Um, so if that's the case, start with this guy and with the 1942, price point fits perfectly. Um, that's what you're getting, $115, $145, still worth it, Don Julio. I wish you were still $99 like back in the day. Thank you for tuning in. Good luck, give it a try. One of the things I like to do I like to mix tequilas. Nothing precise, just whatever I got in front of me. I went ahead and mixed that 1942 and Legend with the Extra Añejo Reserva from Jose. And uh, that's the color you get. That's a beautiful color. And you get the darkness and you get the lightness of the 1942. It's a great color in my mind. That's what it should look like in the tequila. That's how it should be. That's your answer. Mix these three. That's perfect. Smooth, flavorful. That's good for me.